Um, hello, <laughs> students. How are you? Welcome to our science open house. Um, we are recording, so you're welcome to. Hi, Josephine. You're welcome to um, use your video cameras or not. Either way. Um, but and if anyone misses the anything on this um, presentation, we're recording it, and you can watch it again later. So some of you know, some of you don't. Um, we have two science teachers at New Urban. I'm one, Kirsten Fengler, and the other one is Ryan Wilhite. <laughs> um, I do mostly physical sciences, chemistry, physics, and Ryan does. There we go. What's, are you there? And Ryan, you want to tell them what you do? Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm going to be teaching four different science classes, not, thankfully, not in each quarter. Um, first one is uh, doing NGSS, which is New Generation Science Standards Biology. That's This is the first time we're doing that this fall. Uh, and then we have Marine Biology also this fall, and then uh, Anatomy and Physiology. Um, I don't know how we would label them. Late fall, early winter, winter, early spring, whatever we're <laughs> doing the quarters. And then um, we have a biofusion class, which uh, uh, Ms. Lockhart and I are, have to do final kind of developments. And that's going to be um, an elective art. Do they get, will they get a science credit? Can they pick? Yes. Yeah. It'll be the other. <laughs> you'll, get, you'll be able to pick. And it's uh, because I'm a, a, an art teacher, that's going to be my art class for the year. So it uh, should be. I've done that in, in um, 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 summer school, we had that. So it's, and since, anyway, I'm going to stop talking. That's good for me. <laughs> <laughs> the slides went away. I, I let them go away because I thought maybe kids who are new wanted to see our faces. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. Um, also, any of you that are on the call, um, if you have a question and want to type it in the chat, Ms. Lockhart is following the chat and we'll make sure that we answer any questions or or as if you if they come up, type them in so you don't forget them. Okay. So I will go back to the slideshow. I've been practicing all morning on this, so hopefully I'm doing a good job. So, so Google Open House checklist, just a reminder, and this will kind of always be true as we're teaching when the year goes on, starting with your mics muted. Video is always optional. Um, whenever you can have your video on, I like that personally, because then I can see your face and maybe be more helpful, but it's always your choice. Um, and then typing questions in the chat so we can follow up on them. Um, and we are recording right now. Um, just as a reminder of all New Urban, we these are our core values um, that we still are trying to keep a hold of. Um, and I think more now more than ever, curiosity, empathy, equity, resilience, and integrity, those five core values are probably as important as ever, if not more now that we're all in this new learning curve. Um, so hopefully that's um, something you will notice and that you will feel um, as part of your daily school. The Team Phoenix, which is basically your staff, these are things that we hold as important agreements for ourselves. and. Um, um, hopefully you notice these too. Um, we will always try and be present and helpful for you. Be respectful of time. We'll be on time. We'll use our time wisely. We're always going to try and assume positive intent and also own our own impact, which means if we do something that maybe hurts you, we want to own that. And so we want to keep an open dialogue with you guys. So as our students or as parents, please keep know that our line of communication is always open. This year, more than ever, asking clarifying questions, even when maybe you think it's not, it's a dumb question, it probably isn't. We're all learning a lot from each other. Um, we wanna make sure all voices are heard. Hopefully we'll do lots of different types of teaching, both visual, um, oral, typing, all kinds of ways for you to communicate. Hold yourselves accountable. We hold ourselves accountable as teachers and as um, staff at New Urban, um, and hopefully that will also be a, an agreement that you'll hold for yourself. And we are gonna anchor the work that we do in this student success and your needs. So it's going to be changing, and hopefully we'll be able to adapt to what you need. 
So today we'll do introductions, which we've kind of already done and said welcome. We'll talk about expectations and what synchronous and asynchronous learning look like. Office hours, I'll show you my web page um, and how you can contact us and at the end if you have any questions. Are there any questions yet, Andrea? Not yet. Okay, good. Um, the goal of the goal of all these open houses is basically to get some FaceTime and stay hello and for us all to start practicing this new way of communicating. So getting familiar with these tools, building community and connections. We definitely know that last spring was a difficult time and we want to do better as a staff and we want you also to, to feel more connected to us this year. So it this fall is light years away from what we did last spring. We're in a much different place. We're way more prepared. We're here to connect with you. And we hope that you you know that we've done a ton of work so that we can um, do a better job of building community and connecting in this new digital world. Um, and then yeah, establishing culture and being partners with you. So um, this, you know, Mr. Wilhite and I are both, we have office hours, we have email. I'm going to see if this will work. Did that, is that, you can see that, yeah? Can I see my webpage? No, you can't. Hmm, that's weird. So on this link, which um, you can always go to our web pages, and my web page has all my office hours, ways to connect with me. It has my Google Classroom links if you need to find that link again. Mr. Wilhite, you want to talk a little bit about ways to communicate with the kids? Yeah, I mean, that's exactly what my site has is uh, email um, and links to classes. Um, I think that's pretty much standard for everybody. Um, I, I don't know about, for, for me personally, email is, I think how we're doing it, if I don't stand corrected, is if you need during off hours um, during the day, um, regular school hours, you can email and set up a recorded um, Google Meet session, right? Um, if you need one, you know, have some questions. But email is always probably the best for me. All right. Um, this slide probably goes without saying, like, we're all embracing our new normals. We're all working towards connecting more. We're all, we all understand this is crazy changing circumstances. Even today with the wildfires going on, like we're just, we're learning how to be the most flexible people you can imagine. And I think all of it's teaching me to be more open. It's also teaching me to be more resilient. So we're all in this kind of together. Um, and the more feedback you can give us, constructive feedback, the better it is for us teachers. Because we, like I said, it's like being back in grad school. I'm learning so many new things so fast. And one thing for you guys, especially, I don't know if you have me, is uh, have some patience with us. And I mean, uh, I can only speak personally that I am not a techophile. Um, <laughs> you know, this is just, just learn just learning how to do all this stuff. So it's gonna be a challenge. So just have some patience. I mean, I don't, there are gonna times where we're gonna have glitches, but, and we'll be patient with you too. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm prepared to have a ton of grace and patience because I've been given it and I'm so grateful for it. So yeah, please. Um, okay, so you've heard it a hundred times, synchronous and asynchronous learning. So synchronous, there in that bottom right corner, for me, this is how I think about it. synchronous learning is like the time that your teacher is teaching. It's the time that you come to class. Um, this is direct instruction. You might be taking notes. We might have small discussions. There might be a video demonstration, but that is kind of, that's the equivalent of being in the classroom. Um, and that's probably the best way to think about it. And then thinking about seeing all of our cute faces reminds me of the Brady Bunch. So that's why I use that, that graphic. Did you want to add anything to the synchronous time, Ryan? Yeah. Um, you know, I was, we've, as a staff, we've done a ton of it. Um, and we've had some practice being on the student end of it a lot, at least I have. So a couple of things is, um, again, 
your the video option is completely up to you. And I I don't really care to look at my face anymore, so I understand how you wouldn't want to be on. Although I'm getting used to it, so the shock has worn off a little bit. But uh, you know, if you can think about that, it it if you're in a class, maybe think about turning your video on, especially if you're in breakout groups. You don't have to, and I understand, but just it's. It, it's going to be difficult for a lot of teachers to be teaching to a screen. And if it's a blank screen or just their own slideshow, uh, might be. And also, if there's breakout rooms, um, you know, you think about the time spent, it's, it's not going to be a ton um, on synchronous. So really work hard to participate. Um, and that's going to help us teachers at all. Um, the teachers uh, have a more engaging um lesson for the day so just kind of keep that in mind and again i i've been on the student end of it now for a couple of weeks and sometimes you're just tired and you don't want to say anything and so um but if you can guys really participate as much as you can that would help us a lot and, and i'll i can add to that even right now as i'm talking to you and i don't see your faces and i don't see you nodding or not nodding or smiling or, or cringing like what is she talking about making faces at me it's really hard as a teacher to know like, am I boring them? Do I need, like, what do I need to do? So yeah, anytime you can use your video or talk in the chat or, you know, participate, it, it does make it a lot more interesting for us. <laughs> so yeah, help us out a little. Um, in a minute, I'll show you a, a mock student count, a student schedule too, and we'll talk about asynchronous and synchronous during the day. So what to expect with asynchronous. So asynchronous time um, in my head is this is student work time. We, more like last spring, when we would put up assignments for you to do or there was projects and you need time to work on it. If you come during that block time to do that, we'll be available to talk to you. I'll be on and you can come in and out and talk to me or we can help you. If you end up using your asynchronous time in the middle of the night to get a project done, that's entirely up to you. However, I won't be able to help you. So coming to your asynchronous time and working during those times, I think will benefit you um, in terms of getting help. Um, it's a great time to be turning in graded assignments. Um, maybe you do small group work at those times where you're not necessarily with me, but I can help if you want. Um, um, time to do like maybe you're in doing research so in a way it's like a in my opinion it's like a study hall um, but on steroids like a lot of resources to help you D did you want to add anything to that no that's perfect yep. okay. great all right so here's a mock student schedule so um, I think Becky Kilgore made this. So if you can see the orange blocks and there's yellow blocks and, and green and blue. So in the morning is always your synchronous time. So you only have four periods for the term, which is awesome. I think that our school district has done you a great service doing that. Focusing one quarter. How many weeks is that, um, Andrea? Do you know off the top of your head? Nine. It should be yeah. nine. Yeah. So nine weeks with only four classes means that you get a full half a credit instead of doing a whole semester, but you don't have so many things to juggle. So I'll tell you, my son doesn't have that. And I, I'm really grateful that you all have that. I think that's a real service. So in the morning is when every day you'll have two classes in the morning, periods one and three are always on Monday and Thursday and periods two and four on Tuesday and Friday, but you can see, in the afternoon is asynchronous time. So we are giving you assignments. We are expecting you to come and do work. We are available for you to talk, but it's not, you don't have to be there listening to me and doing what I'm telling you to do. It's more, I give it to you on the Google Classroom. You can work on it or whatever. And you'll notice that if you have a morning class, period one is on Monday, the afternoon version is the following day. So you do have every class every day, you just do asynchronous one day and then synchronous the other. Wednesdays, there's more independent study and applied learning. Um, but the big, really good, big thing about Wednesdays is that we have our community and connection class. And what we were told by the district, they took a, a survey of lots and lots of parents and students that people wanted more connection and they wanted their a go-to 
teacher or person. So this means that you will have one teacher for that class for the whole year. And any questions you have, your any problems you're having, it's one teacher that you can always talk to. So you won't be getting 15 emails from six different classes and six different teachers. Hopefully it limits the amount of communication and gives you a, a better touch point. Um, does anybody have, you can type this. Does, if anyone has any questions about that class, I'd be happy to answer them. So in this one has, um, they, we just plugged in some classes just so you could see, but as long as you look at the colors, you get the idea. And you should be able to see most of your classes in Synergy by now, but if you don't, don't worry, they're on their way. Am I right, Andrea? You are. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, office hours. So every day after your synchronous period, which is one hour long, the following half an hour, I will stay in the classroom for you to ask any questions in the Google Meet. So we have office hours then, and if you need it to be a private conversation, we can move over and do that if you just wanna pop in and ask me questions. Also, if you go to my website, you will see my office hours for this term, which could probably change in every term, so. All right, that I think is all that I have. Andrea, if I've missed anything, tell me, and then Ryan, if you had anything else, go for it. That's awesome on my end. No, you're good. Okay, glad to hear it. Um, I want to show really quick my um, my website for the kids. And Mr. Wilhites looks a lot like mine. Can you all see that? Yes. Yes. So all of your teachers have new fancy websites this year that have that are gonna be kind of a go-to spot in case you forget something. So for mine, it tells what classes I have. There's links to the Google Classrooms, and there, which you're already gonna be in. You're not gonna to have to know the code, but the codes are there anyways. Um, my email, some things that you should know, my expectations or core values, and there's my office hours. Um, and there's a bunch of different chunks in there. You can see my map. And then also for your parents, um, I have some parent resources too. So if your parents want information, tell them to go find my website and then hopefully that will help them if they need that as well. And Mr. Wilhite has a site, looks very similar. I think almost all your teachers have, have pretty those up and they should be up for you. And then we'll be using Google, um, Google Classrooms, Google Meet, um, and then there's lots of other little tools that we have to use as well. All right, that's all I have. Any questions, we'd answer them. There's nothing in the chat yet. I am, I am looking at it. If you, got it. If any of these students or parents that are here loved my presentation, you can just give me a thumbs up. <laughs> All right. This Friday is your first, thanks Andrea. <laughs> this Friday um, is our first Community and Connections class and you should all be getting invitations for that by the end of today. And um, we really, really want you to, that's the first day of school basically. So be there for that. All right. Okay. I'm done. What else should we do? <clears throat> going once, going twice. <laughs> Um, forever hold your peace. <laughs> if people want to stay on and ask questions, they can. <laughs> um, if you're you've you've got all the information you need, feel free to log off. Um, you know, we, we'll be here for you if you decide you have a question. You have to log back in, so that's another option too. All right, thanks for coming, you guys. I'm really glad that you.